Hello YouTube, this is the second video in our Minesweeper tutorial series. Um, <clears throat> in this video we're going to be creating a grid of uh, basically cookable boxes and we're going to be using an image to do that. I've created an image in Photoshop that I'll um, link to in the description but you can use any image you want. We're going to be using an image that has a width of 30 pixels and a height of 30 pixels. So we're going to start by um, getting a couple things set up first and then we'll get that image drawn to the canvas. So um, we're going to call a function in it which is going to initiate our game. And we have to define that function right here. So let's see, we have inside that we want to um, start the start drawing everything um, and start the main animation loop so uh, another thing we're going to need to do is make a settings class which we'll call s so we'll have a settings class with various different items um, variables so uh, one of those will be rows and we'll have 10 rows to start with one will be columns 10 columns one will be width of the of each um, box which will be 30 and height of each box which will be 30 and I think that's good for now for the settings class um, actually, we're also going to do a frames per second uh, class. So we want mostly just 30 frames per second for now. Um, so inside our function init down here, we're going to uh, create some variables. So var image is equal to um, I'm actually going to make this box. And box.source is equal to box.png, which is what I um, called <coughs> my box. So, sorry, we're actually not going to be doing frames per second. Um, so you can get rid of that. We have a function that will draw. Let's make this variable global so that we can use it. Um, we're going to have a function that will basically redraw the canvas every time it's updated. So. That will um, that will start out by clearing our canvas using clear rect, and it'll be the width and height of our box here. So. We'll clear it and then we'll draw the cubes. So, um, using, well, actually, we'll just do c.draw image first so you can see what it looks like. Um, global variable and try again all right so there we have our little 
box drawn at 10 10 um, if we go back here and look at this we can do this multiple times like so and we get kind of a grid going to create this grid we're not going to do that for each um, box so other than doing that we're going to say um, we have a for loop for each row and then a for loop for each column within that row so we're going to say So here we have four of our i is equal to zero. That's our variable. And then our condition will be while i is less than s dot rows. And then we're going to do i plus plus. So we'll go var k or n is equal to zero n is less than s dot columns n plus plus so x is going to be equal to whoa um, n times width s dot did I call it width? Yeah. and y is going to be I times s dot height. Right? So this is going to draw a 10 by 10 or whoa, it should draw a 10 by 10 grid of boxes. Let's see the error here. Alright, there we go. So we have a 10 by 10 grid and we can modify that by changing these things here. Um, and by changing these, that'll change the spacing on them basically. Like so. But uh, we want to stay with our original settings. So. Now we've got all these boxes, um, and that's it for this video. In the next one, we'll be working with um, triggering a function when a box is clicked, like so. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.